it's time. We're gonna find out what it means to be a real doctor. Uh, do not, do not. Bing, 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 bing. No! No. We're gonna do real doctor. We're gonna, we're gonna see what it takes to be a real doctor. Thank you so much, Doctor. Take care now. Well, that looks like our last walk-in for the day. Angie, let's start our pre-op around 1 o'clock, okay? Don't you think we should have examined him more carefully? There were signs of s Oh. Cyanosis is when your uh, fingers start to turn purple. Uh, from lack of oxygen to your fingers, which could indicate asthma. Okay, I've had asthma my whole life, and I've never gotten cyanosis. If that's the case, he needs to see his physician right away. Really? I didn't think it looked like anything serious. You're an embarrassment. You need to start acting like a real doctor, Mr. Styles. You're overreacting. I'm sure he'll be fine. Multiple tumors confirmed in the small intestine, resulting in several other inflammations. Immediately, immediate removal is required. Since Dr. Castle is at a conference, I'll be briefing you today. I think you'd be briefing me even if he was here. <laughs> We're extracting a stage 1 tumor from the patient's small intestine. So if we take it out, he should fully recover. However, his blood results were unusual. We can ask Dr. Castle about that once he gets back. As long as I extract the tumor, the patient should be fine. That is technically correct, but... I'm pretty confident about this. I've extracted several tumors already. This'll be a snap. O okay, just keep the operation objectives in mind. Treat the inflamed... Ep... Ep... Epithelium... Of his small intestine. Excise and remove all tumors in the area. If you're ready, let's begin. Starting the operation. Let's begin the operation. Thanks for sticking with me, even though I don't fucking know how to read, guys. I really do appreciate it. Let's well, begin. Dr. Styles, let's begin the operation. Okay. Oh! Ouch. That makes me upset. Oof. What, what is going on? His entire intestinal membrane is inflamed. What's going on? Only the small infested intestine. No, inf infested. Intestine should be infected. Doctor, I think we need to close up the pa patient for re-examination. Let's continue operating, Angie. These symptoms aren't uncommon. I understand. In that case, proceed with the tumor exi- We already cut him open. We might as well finish what we are doing. Like, his vitals are dropping rapidly, though. Proceed as normal. I'm, like, legitimately trying to figure out what he would do- he should be doing in this situation. Like, it's not just- a Vigi game. Vitals yes, the vitals, they do drop. That is something that vitals do in this game. They are dropping quick, too! Yeah, this is... I don't know. I don't know what I would do in this situation. And then again, you know what? I'm not a medical technician. I'm a receptionist, so, you know... Treatment of the visibly inflamed areas is complete, but... Yeah, we're gonna... So eventually, yeah, see how I'm turning yellow? And now my syringe is red? I have no more syringe left. Done. Okay. That's as high as his vitals are gonna go. Damn, he's got a fuck ton of tumors. This is weird. Alright, drain... Drain. Neural. Proceed as normal. So if I leave these too long, they'll bleed out, which is why I only did two at a time there. Holy shit. Drain. Vitals drop. Ooh, 
Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Very bad. Dr. Styles. Very bad. Very bad. Very bad. Fuck! <sighs> try to avoid making we got it. Oh god, did you see that it said try to avoid making stupid mistakes? Doctor. His vitals aren't stabilizing. There must be something else. The patient's vitals don't usually stabilize right after the operation. Okay, now I would be like, uh, no, let's like examine him and look around. But we need to at least check the blood test results. Okay, what would you suggest? Try using the ultrasound again, just to be safe. Doctor, check each area carefully. We are super checking each area very carefully. I don't see anything, Angie. Don't worry, we're both still learning from the experience, right? I guess. There. You should finish up by suturing the laceration. Cool. That was a beautiful. <laughs> that was such a good one. Good work, we're finished, Doctor Styles. Oh no, and then it turns out that Angie was right, and the patient is... Rookie Doctor! Oh, that was a really shitty operation. Dr. Styles. Oh, hey Angie, thanks for your help in there. I'd like to have a word with you about that last operation. Hmm? Was there something wrong with my bedside manner? Dick. No, it's about the patient, actually. His white blood cell and... Gobulin. G... Gob... Gobulin. Counts are rising rapidly. I also noticed inflammation upon the patient's pectorium. We should re-examine him immediately and consult his regular doctor. I agree with you, but I'll, I'm afraid I'll have to wait till tomorrow. I'm supposed to help with the next symposium. I'll be meeting with some doctors from St. Francis to learn the ropes and everything. Wow. Fucking wow. They should have fired. They, they should have fired you. They traveled a long way to meet me, so I can't just blow them off. We'll handle this first thing tomorrow, I promise. But they should have fucking fired him a long time ago. Too bad I have work tomorrow. I would have liked it to talk a bit longer. Oh well, at least now I'm ready for that symposium thing. Hmm? Oh, my cell phone. Derek, where are you? The patient is in critical condition. Get back here right now. Am I am I the doctor on call? Why am I the doctor on call? Taxi, take me to Hope Hospital and step on it. If I knew I was on call, why did I go out drinking? Oh, it's because Derek's a disaster. He's... You know what? Derek's a dot by disaster. Tumor... Tumor methesized behind his lungs, which then began swelling. It continued to fester. It continued to fester about 20 min 30 minutes ago, and then the tumor ruptured. The patient is in shock and suffering from acute per whatever. Other doctors are operating on him as we speak. Follow me, Doctor Styles. You need to see the consequences of your carelessness. I mean, uh, he didn't. It's not. It was by his lungs. Like, come on. I understand you didn't have much information to base a decision on, and I do admit that the tumor was difficult to see from the x ray. However, the laboratory left you several memos about the patient. I understand that they pointed out his extremely high readings. More than that, you dumped your responsibility onto a nurse immediately following a very op delicate operation. It wasn't- I mean, yeah, you made a mistake. You're a fucking disaster. Miss Thompson, what are you- Please excuse me for interrupting, Dr. Hoffman. I understand this is a really rude- a little rude, but I have something to say. What is it? It's about the negligent attitude Miss Dr. Stiles has displayed thus far. I warned him about this patient at least three times, but he said that we were important personal matters to take care of. Then he just walked out without another word. Dr. Stiles, maybe you didn't harm the patient directly, but how could I work under a doctor who doesn't even try to act like one? It doesn't matter how small or groundless a suspicion might be, the patients are depending on you to take care of them. Why did you even become a doctor? Do you even know? Uh, you don't deserve to be here. You're not a real doctor. Ugh! <sighs> Her words, they sting so much. I have no sympathy for him anymore. Like, 
when I was 14, I was like, oh man, this sucks. This would suck. You know, like, now I'm like a grown adult, I'm also 26, and I'm like, you're fucking embarrassment. <laughs> I am 100% on Angie's side now. I really screwed up. I ignored a patient. I was trying my best. I didn't think it was anything serious. Did you go out for the red light district just wearing this? You're just wearing your surgeon outfit? A patient almost died, and it was my fault. Being told Dr. Styles doesn't make me a good doctor. What was I thinking? I'm no doctor. Not if I keep making mistakes like that. Uh-oh, looks like rain. You two, hurry up. We need to, to get our displays inside. Rain. Maybe that'll help calm me down. I couldn't make things any worse. Sir, it looks like you're completely soaked. Did you come from the hospital? You might want to head back pretty soon. They don't want me there. I'm apparently useless as a doctor. <laughs> yeah, it's me. You never saw what I believe I was just gonna see. Well, you can guess if you want. Nope, it's even better. There was this crazy accident on Walnut between a truck and an SUV. It was nuts. The drivers flew into the street and, huh? No, it really happened. An accident on Walnut? They're gonna be taken to our trauma ward, but Dr. Castle's out of town. And there wasn't any emergency doctors on call. What do you mean there's no emergency doctors on call? There's... Okay. Okay. <laughs> Who's running the hospital? <laughs> I was right, then there's no time to lose. Where are the accident victims, Angie? Dr. Stiles! The patient, he was suffering cardiac arrest and I couldn't resuscitate him. The other nurses are busy and with Dr. Castle gone, I- I'm not sh I- what am I supposed to do? What do you mean, what are you supposed to do? The patient's going to die, but I can't- I, I can't- Angie, calm down. Take me to the OR. Okay! The patient suffered cardiac arrest as a result of the car accident, multiple lacerations of the epithelium and problems in the abdomen. D there's problems. There's just problems in the abdomen. What's the situation? The ambulance brought him here as soon as they could, as hard as it beating. I tried reviving him, but... Angie. What do I do? I need help! I... Angie! Dr. Styles. The only one who needs help here is the patient. And we're gonna... We're gonna be the ones to help him. It's up to us, and only us. We're gonna save him. We can't... I can't do this without you, Angie. I wanna save his life. Pretend this is a normal procedure. Calm down and think things through. First, we need a pulse. We have to get a pulse. Understood. I will save this patient. Yeah! Time to grow the fuck up! We got- we got- Slapped by a girl, basically. Vital warning. He's flattening! We have to do something! We need to recover his pulse! Careful. Okay. So, you move the Wii, like, towards- Yes, the screen. Now we hold- Yes, I know. I know. I know, I'm trying to explain this to my- my viewers. Yes. Uh-huh. Yep. Okay, yep. Ugh, okay. We only have a couple tries at this. Got it. Okay. So you actually, like, move the Wiimotes towards the screen. And then push the two buttons. Vitals are still below 30. He's not in the clear yet. That sounds more like the Angie I know. Dr. Styles, are we gonna save him? Of course we are. Understood. First, let's take care of those lacerations. Yep. Just like- just like this. Oh, well. that was totally the one that was going for. Beautiful. All They're just healed. They're just healed now. Bleeding seems to have stopped, but his vials are still dropping. Could it be? It's prob- we should probably do an ultrasound on him first. I do miss, um... I don't remember which game it is. There's like a little cap that'll show you which the cap of the, um... Up for that surgery is. For the vinyls, so you don't try to keep pushing him over. Oh, there's just glass in his heart. How did this fucking happen? Don't take this the wrong way. I don't think you have the skill to treat it like this. We recovered his pulse, so maybe we should wait till Dr. Castle's help. No, the longer we wait, the lower his chances are at survival. I, I don't know what to do. Either way, I won't blame you. This is your decision. Well, I believe in you. Thanks. Oh, God, Ariel. Oh. 
Come on, baby. Give me that good timing. Whew. What? what it's, <laughs> it's just coming out. It's just coming out like that. And then we gotta stitch it because it's too big. I think he's gonna make it. What? Oh, this can't be happening. This is bad. Don't die on me. Don't let him die. What? what he just happened? sutured the myocardium in a split second. I think we're finished. Let's close him up. That was actually not a bad stitch. We got sad in the rain and we were gifted a superpower. I could feel him slipping away. I was so scared, Doctor. I froze. All I could think about was running away, which is nothing like your personality, but okay. But you didn't worry at all, which is nothing like my personality. You stood your ground and did what had to be done. You you are a real doctor. Well done, Doctor Thank Styles. you, Doctor Styles. Within like one day, she like had a full turnaround, just like one surgery, even though I was late. I've been babied for three years. You know, whatever. It's fine. A. For awesome. I never felt that way before. I think I'm starting to understand. His condition's stabilized for now. Let's keep an eye on him. Yes, doctor. We need to contact the other doctors, and I'm way ahead of you. Most of the off-duty staff had agreed to come in. I also called Dr. Castle. Good. Thank you. You should get some rest. We were in surgery for a long time. Yeah, if it's okay with you, I think I'll do that. Angie, yes, everything you said this morning was true. But I'm gonna stay here as a doctor. I'm gonna try harder. I'm gonna be a better surgeon, and I'm gonna make you proud. If that's the case, stop coming into work late and don't leave without doing your paperwork. I'll do my best. And there's one other thing, huh? Please try to be more presentable. I shouldn't have to worry about being embarrassed to work with you. Uh, I'll be more careful. Alright, I'm taking a nap. Wake me up if anything changes. Understood. Have a good rest, Dr. Styles. And I'm gonna give him this he needs a nap after using uh, Healing Touch without... Yes! Are you excited? Are you excited? We're gonna have a competent doctor. Are you ready? Not only competent, but sexy. And that's what I want in my life. I want to be competent and sexy. Oh, we're at St. Francis. They mentioned this hospital earlier. The patient, Alan Chambers, is suffering from a committed... Com... Commuted... Community? Oh, well. Fracture in his right forearm. He was rushed here as soon as the injury occurred, thanks to a nurse who witnessed it. Judging by- oh! Judging by the x-ray, this one could give us some trouble, but I'm sure Dr. Reeve will be, will be able to fix him up good as new. I appreciate the confidence, but you know this is no big deal. I haven't let a patient down yet, have I? Nozomi Weaver, age 29, a Japanese surgeon who came to America on an exchange program. Since transforming, transforming, since transferring from her original hospital in Okinawa, she's gained quite a reputation. It's because she's hot as hell and amazing. Alan Chambers, isn't he a famous screenwriter? I think it's the same guy? That would certainly explain the media circus gathered outside. Hey, maybe they'll want to interview us. Or Dr. Weaver, anyway. She's probably the most photogenic doctor here. I definitely don't need that kind of attention. If they're looking for a press conference, the head surgeon is welcome to take my place. You're too modest, Dr. Weaver. She really put our hospital on the map, though. We have patients from coming from all over. I'd say the exchange program is the best thing to happen to St. Francis. I'm surprised your hospital was willing to let you go, Doctor. You're giving me too much credit. I haven't even been here for a full year. <laughs> I think we're getting a little sidetracked. Let's proceed with the operation. Good luck, Dr. Weaver. Are we doing it in this room? Is this where we're doing it with like the china background and like we're just gonna lay him out on the table? Now I just need to avoid unnecessary media attention. I still can't believe they want me operating out in the open like this. Didn't they learn their lesson in Okinawa? Ew. Yep. Oh no, there's bleeding. The patient's name is Alan Chambers. He has a serious fracture in his right arm. As for the x-ray results, fragments of the bone seem to be scattered and I see hemorrhaging. That being said, 
I will be approaching approaching this operation with three objectives. Collect the fragments of this radius and ulna, set the radius properly for healing, return the fragments to their original position, and rebuild the ra patient's radius and ulna. I have anticipate a smooth procedure. I'm starting the operation. It's time to get started. She looks so weird here with this shot. Her head looks so vertical. She's so tall. <laughs> Let's begin. See, no one has to fucking talk to me. I didn't actually need a nurse. I wish I didn't actually have a nurse. Uh, let's do the hemorrhaging. Yes, she did just mention that. Whoop. Next, leave it to me. Next, leave it to me. Let's gather these up. Boop. 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 Wait a minute. Yep. And let, let's put it together. Put them back together. The neat thing about this version is that I have to like twist the Wiimote in my hand to put them I where see. they go. Uh, this one goes. Nope. Nope. Here. This one goes here. No. Uh, it goes this way. Oh, oh that's okay. Right. That's not right? Okay. Sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> she got really mad for a second. I'm sorry. Uh, is that one this one? No. That one is... Uh, I think I twist a little bit more. Ugh. <sighs> Something isn't right. I thought I found all the fragments, but the radius is, still isn't connecting properly. There's probably still a fragment I haven't found yet. If I use the ultrasound, we might find it. There it is. And then we... Spooch! For that, you only need to tap. Good. Seems to be all of them. I should apply some antibiotic gel to make sure the area heals properly. Done. And then, that's it. That's that's just how science works now. Oh, it was just taking a while. I was like, why the fuck isn't it? Cool. <laughs> it wasn't even on his arm. I don't know if you noticed, but there was tons of little pieces outside of his arm in there, and we didn't even see any of those. They were just... I mean, we saw them... They weren't outside his arm when we were outside his arm. Fuck you, I gotta see... Another amazing operation, Dr. Weaver. We learned a thing or two. Well then, if you'll excuse me, see you tomorrow. Interesting. I always thought American doctors were more concerned about golf than their patients. But everyone here is so kind, they accepted me as one of their own immediately. Only because they don't know the truth. <gasps> What's the truth? Dr. Weaver! Oh, a phone call? Oh, it's them. This is Weaver. A procedure on Sunday? It's kind of sudden, don't you think? Huh, not that I can refuse or anything. Yeah, I'll be there. Oh. They don't know the truth about Dr. Weaver. I wonder what that could ever mean. Okay. I think this is a very good spot to stop because we're gonna reach chapter two. And we'll see you for chapter two next time. I think from now on I'm going to try and do one chapter each video, but um, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Alright, see ya! Oh, my hand. That's right, that's why I don't play this as much all at once. It makes your hands hurt. Whew.